Hey guys, Crystal the Fedora Gal here, and I've got a new gaming addiction. Space Haven in its alpha stages from Bug Bite Limited. I love this game so much that I've dedicated at least 30 hours to playing it on the harshest difficulty level so I could come up with some tips and tricks to help you survive. I'm going to assume that if you're watching this video that you've already played through Space Haven's tutorial missions and have a general idea of what you were doing. If not, you're still going to get some great tips and tricks, but you're not going to know the basic mechanics of gameplay that you'll need in order to survive in the harsh environment. So let's get going. We're going to choose the harsh difficulty level and the abandoned mining station start. First and foremost, choose your crew. Now take your time here. You're going to want to click that little roll dice button just above the crew staffs to keep swapping them out till you find the right fit. Keep an eye on the traits received after the apocalypse section. While having a psychopath and a bloodthirsty crewmate on the same ship could be extremely entertaining, it doesn't bode well for the survivability of your crew. Make sure you pick some crewmates who have higher stats in botany, construct, and industry. Also, you will need at least four crewmates with weapon skills. Make sure at least two of them have higher than two in this stat. It'll make your life much easier, trust me. Once you are ready, click that start button for the adventure to begin. Now, don't start building your ship right away. Trust me on this, I know it's tempting. Before anything else, you need your crew to make some food. Forgetting to do this will end your adventures much earlier, often before your first jump. I lost a one crew at least to running out of food before I even got my ship finished. Set your guys to mine, and once they are done that, prepare to board the derelict ship. When preparing to board, it is paramount that you wait until after your crew are done their morning breakfast. I've lost a few crews to horrible death because someone decided they needed to sleep in the middle of a spider infested madness. Another tip, don't skimp on the crewmates. You will need at least four to ensure survival in the harsh difficulty level. Once you do that first hyperspace jump and you're in a different solar system, the critters get significantly harder and there's definitely safety in numbers. Tip here, you can select all crew and have them equip weapons at the same time. Simply transfer the gun from storage to your first crewmate, then click on the second crewmate and move the gun from one to the other. Keep doing this through all four. I hope that made sense. I guess that's why we have the video to help, right? Visuals? Anybody? <laughs> Don't forget after you've gone through the ship to make sure that you do all the transfer and salvage and of course pick up any chips or data logs that you find. Now it's time for a little math. Don't worry, I've done it for you. You're gonna need 71 infra blocks, 31 tech blocks, 13 energy blocks, a minimum of six soft blocks, depending on how much furniture you build, and seven hull blocks for ship components. In addition to those seven hull blocks, you're gonna need however many hull blocks you need to frame out your ship. In order to reach the next galaxy, which you must do to survive in Harsh, you will need an additional six of each block type for hypersleep chambers. You can build these as you explore the current galaxy, but just keep that in mind as you go. Note, and this is a very big note, you will not have enough tech blocks to complete your ship. There are only enough resources in this base area to get 29 tech blocks, and you need at least 31 to get your ship into jump readiness. But have no fear, I'll show you what to do to get around that. My suggestion is to start using the remining stations on the abandoned mining station to build the blocks you need for ship components before you even worry about framing in the ship. That way you don't accidentally short yourself while following the suggested build order the game gives you. Keep your crew happier by separating the living and eating quarters from the working part of the ship and build as many thermoregulators as you need to keep the temperatures proper on your ship. Make sure you build your recycling composting room to be big enough for a few extra machines and put an airlock on it. You will not need to heat that room. Note, your food production area does not need an airlock but if you feel more comfortable adding one later, you can. It's just a waste of resources off the top. Okay, so now you got most of the components of your ship and you are ready to move food production from the mining station over. But wait, suddenly it says you don't have any fertilizer? The composters simply can't keep up. No worries, build a chemical refinery in your production room and build as many chemicals as you can. You'll need at least 15 fertilizer to start with and you'll need chemicals to build the rest of the tech blocks you need. Now, here is the super secret tip that if you haven't figured it out may result in a facepalm. 
don't build all your production machines at once. You're already gonna be short on tech blocks, so don't go crazy and, and build all that. Instead, build one, manufacture the products you need, and then dismantle it and build the next one in its place. You're gonna recover all of the tech blocks, all of the hull blocks, all of the soft blocks. Essentially, it recovers almost 90% of the blocks that it caused to build it, and that way you can save yourself some resources and just move stuff back and forth. Keep a very close eye on your power, water, and food levels. You will not have any extra power crystals for a bit, so don't spend too much time designing your ship. Tip number two. You can click on any hangar in the abandoned mining station and transfer the ship between crews. This saves you the resources of having to build your own ships on your bigger ship. So what you're gonna wanna do is take two miners and one transport ship from the abandoned mining station and relocate them to your new shiny spaceship. This is simple as just clicking on the hangar in the abandoned mining station and click on relocate. I like to give my crew extra bathrooms, so I designed my ship to have space for that. Don't forget to do some lights and of course pay special attention to your food production. Make sure that you have enough food for your six people, which at a minimum is just mirroring the setup on the abandoned mining station. Okay, cool. Ready for tip number three? Hyperspace jump away from the starting area. Mine any resources where you land, and then you're gonna jump right back. Hold on, hold on, what am I talking about? Well, when you jump right back, the abandoned mining station that you just left will now be all black, like it's a derelict ship. When you click on it, you'll have two options, abandon or claim. If you click abandon, you're gonna be able to completely salvage all materials from the station. Yay for extra scrap to be recycled, right? Once that's done, you can start exploring. Using the production dismantle and build method that I suggested earlier, you should be able to craft all the extra blocks you need to build six hypersleep chambers. Okay, time for the last tip in this video and it's possibly the most important to keep yourself alive long enough to get guns and shields on your ship. And that is avoiding pirates. As we've previously discussed, you're not gonna have enough materials in the starting galaxy to build anything extra. So that means no shields, no guns, no radar until you're able to jump to another galaxy. So when you're flying around in your first spot and when of course you get to the new galaxy, you are gonna want to pay close attention to where the pirates are. The best way to do this is watch your screen and look for that ship incoming next turn notification that pops up. When that happens, zoom out to your map really quickly and check to see which ships are moving. If it's blue, it's a neutral ship and you should be okay. If it's red, it's a pirate ship. And if it is coming towards you, I would drop whatever you are doing and jump to a new sector. You can always come back and finish mining or salvaging or whatever you were doing after that red pirate ship is gone. You can also stay and negotiate with the pirates, but I would not suggest doing this as it often costs you very expensive resources. And if you don't have it, you've now opened up yourself to attack and you will die very quickly on harsh without any shield. Okay, I've now armed you with all the information that you need to get your ship up and running and to a position where you're able to hyperspace jump to the next galaxy. Some things you need to keep in mind. Watch your water levels, watch your oxygen levels, watch your food levels and your power. You will not get access to power crystals or hyperspace crystals until the next galaxy in the very least. So keep an eye on that. Trade for what you need in order to build those products to keep you alive. When you do hyperspace to the new galaxy, it's going to be a lot tougher. The derelict ships are going to have tougher enemies on them. You're going to have way more pirate ships and the environment is overall a whole lot nastier. But there are going to be more resources. And if you've set up your ship properly and keep in mind, you can dismantle and rebuild production machines you should be able to survive to get to a point where you can build shields and guns. Keep avoiding those pirates and keep exploring. And hopefully I've provided you with some tips and strategies that will keep you alive until you're able to do that. Thank you so much for watching this video, but it's housekeeping time. You know what that means. Comment below with what you like best, hit that subscribe button and that ding bell so you know when my next video comes out. And of course, come check me out on Twitch every day, except for Monday and Friday. I'd love to see you there. Stay safe, have some fun, play some games, and most of all, enjoy your life right now because it's the only one you got. Fedora gal out.